Hello everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. Today we will learn how to make a stopwatch using Arduino Uno. So let us begin. So for this, we need one Arduino Uno, one small breadboard, one LCD screen, one push button, two resistors, and few connecting wires. Now let us see how to make the circuit. So first of all, let us see how to connect this LCD screen. So we will connect the first one that is the ground pin to this GND pin of this Arduino. After it, we have this power pin that will connect with this 5 volt pin of this Arduino. After it, there is the one contrast pin that will connect to this GND pin of this Arduino. Register select and enable pin will be connected to this 2 and 3 number of this Arduino respectively. And again, this read write pin will be connected to this GND pin of this Arduino. After it, we will left these four pins blank, we will not connect it to any point. And the next four, that is from DB4 to DB7, will be connecting to 4, 5, and 6, and 7 number pin of this Arduino respectively. After it, we will connect the LED anode pin to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino and the LED cathode pin to this GND pin of this Arduino through one resistor. Now, let us see how to connect the push button. So it has also total four terminals, but over here we will connect only three of its terminals. First one will be connected to, to, to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino. Second one will be connected to this 9 number pin of this Arduino. And the third one will be connected to the GND pin of this Arduino through a resistor. So in this way our circuit is ready. Now let us see the code. So this is our code. Over here, first of all, we have included one header file for uh, liquid crystal library. Uh, after it, we have initialized one array of the named as LCD to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 number pin of the Arduino to which we have connected the same. After it, we have initialized two variables, input and count to zero. Now, in this void setup function, we are beginning this LCD uh, and over here, 16 represents the number of columns in LCD and 2 represents the number of rows in LCD. Now we have configured the pin mode 9 for the input purpose and now in void loop function which keeps on looping, over here we are reading the value of from the 9 number pin and storing it in this variable and now this if this input will be high, we are counting this. Now this count, if the count modulus 2 equals to 1 we are clearing the LCD screen setting its cursor and writing the time equals to this and we are uh, giving the delay of 2000 millisecond equals to 2 seconds and now if the counts value is equal uh, it is divisible by 2 and there is no remainder left we are printing the time and this way using this for loop we are over here as well in the same way we are clearing the LCD screen setting the cursor printing the time and after each one second the time will be changed and at last we are increasing the count by one so in this way it will work so if the input will be high at last the count will be increased by one and using this if statement we will be setting the time whether we have to show the time or not so in this way a stopwatch will work now let us see how exactly it will work so for it i'm clicking on start simulation as you can see initially i haven't clicked this push button and hence no time is shown over here now i'm clicking it as you can see zero one two three for each second the time will increase so in this way our stopwatch will work and if I want to stop it I can either click on the stop simulation and start it again or I can just simply push this push button so in this way it will work thank you